Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One Soft Monitor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change up the Sense Lock Screen so that it's the stock AOS theme version of it. Um, this doesn't require you to install any APKs or flash any files, it just requires you to um, enable USB debugging on your rooted M8. So that does mean you have to have a rooted device. Um, you'll just need any kind of super user app in order to give it uh, root permission. And you're also going to want to have a file explorer that has uh, that can read the root partition of your device. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using ES File Explorer. Um, it's a free app. There's going to be a link to that in the tutorial at HTC One Soft Monitor. So go ahead and click on that in the description. After you get all that set up, we're going to want to first remove the old lock screen. You aren't going to be deleting it. You're just going to be renaming it so that it cannot launch from your system partition. So to do that, First thing you're going to want to do is open up File Explorer. So just go ahead and open that up. And then you'll be prompted with the internal storage. So just go back to the system partition. And then from go down to the system folder. And then hit this priv-app. And then scroll down to HTC lock screen. After you get that, go ahead and press and hold. Hit rename. And then to the back of it, you're going to add .bak. Hit OK. And that's all set up. All right, after you rename it, you're going to want to restart your device. So you just restart it as you normally would. After your device is finished rebooting, you will have the AOSP lock screen already enabled, but it won't be able to um, access widgets or the camera widget on the side to the to the right screen on your lock screen. So in order to get that enabled, you just have to run a command from ADB onto your device. So just go ahead and plug your M8 into your computer and then we'll get started. These commands will work if you're running Windows or Mac, so that doesn't matter. Just make sure you have ADB installed. So from terminal, you're gonna wanna type in ADB shell, hit enter, and then you're just gonna give it super user permission. So type in SU, hit enter. Check your device at this time because you might get a prompt from your super user app asking to give root permission to ADB. So if you get that, just go ahead and um, type it. Just give it the OK. And after that, the next command, um, I would recommend just copying it over from the full tutorial. So just go over to that and copy it over to the last one. So just paste it in, hit enter. After you hit enter, you will get a couple of the warning things and your device will show a setup guide in order this is it's not the phone setup your phone didn't get wiped it's just the um the the prompt to give the lock screen ability to add, add widgets to it all right after you finish the setup process to get the widgets back onto your phone you'll be all set the aosp lock screen will be fully functional you see here that i already have um the uh the sound search widget and then if you scroll to the camera you can see that it doesn't bring up the Sense camera. It only works with the Google camera that was released a little while ago onto the Play Store. So if you want to get that functionality, you will have to download that first. But other than that, you'll be ready set to go. It will work with the pattern and keep pass unlock. You don't have to worry about having any security issues. Hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial at HTC One Self Monitor. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.